Hello, hello, this is another battle with Let's Go. Um, real quick, looking at my opponent's team. That is an actual team right there. Um, that is not just some team that some person put together. That is an actual team. Um, real quick, Muck is good for that Gengar and the Starmie. Um, Melmetal is really the biggest problem. I, I, I'm hoping Charizard could take care of that. Maybe Rhydon could do some work. Um, Aerodactyl is a possible lead that my opponent might, you know, lead off with. Um... Snorlax looks like it could be a problem, too, because it's so bulky. Um, what do I want to lead with? I actually think I'll lead with Rhydon, because if my opponent leads with the Aerodactyl, I can scare it out. And if my opponent leads with Starmie, um, I can switch, just hard switch into Muck. Um, so I think that's the plan. Um, maybe I could scare out the Aerodactyl. If not, um, we can trade rocks, maybe. Um... Yeah, because he's going to get rocks up anyway if he leads Aerodactyl. And I, honestly, he's going to get rocks up anyway once Aerodactyl hits the ground. Cause it's just so crazy. Here is Gengar. So Gengar often runs Mega Drain in this in this game. So I don't want to stay in with Rhydon, really. I think I want to make a switch into Muck. Man, Muck's going to be pulling a lot of weight in this battle. It really is. Uh, Muck is just so good against so many things. I need to keep it healthy and good. Uh, let's get Muck in here. This is going to be his Mega. Um, I was predicting maybe a Mega Drain, um, but my opponent might actually predict me predicting that because... Yeah, there's the Mega Drain, okay. Um, so my opponent sees that I'm not just some kid just battling. You actually know my tight matchups and stuff like that. Let's see. If only I had Pursuit. That would be so great. If I had Pursuit, I could actually do some stuff. Um, but I do have Crunch, and nothing resists Crunch. So we'll just go for the Crunch here. And that's really, honestly, my best option. Um, let's see what he sends out. Probably Melmetal. No, the Aerodactyl. Okay. Um, unless I get a crit, I don't think I could take this thing out. Okay, so he's getting rocks up no matter what. Let's go ahead and send... Actually... I'm going to just crunch again, because I think my opponent gets rocks up. And getting rid of this thing actually helps me out, because it's just so fast. And I can't stop rocks from, you know, being on my side of the field anyway. So, we're just going to take out the Aerodactyl here. There's honestly nothing I could have done to prevent those rocks. So we'll just take the Aerodactyl. Unfortunately, that means Charizard is going to take a nasty hit once it comes in. Um, Zapdos and Dragonite's not going to be happy about it, but hopefully um, later on I can get my own rocks. That's really my hope. Man, rocks is just so bad against my team, like really bad. Um, here comes the Melmetal. Uh, problem is I don't really have a switch to this thing. I could go Zapdos, actually. Because it's more than likely going to either go for an Earthquake or the Double Iron Bash. Um, so I think... I think I'll go with Zapdos predicting one of those. And I can hit it on its special defense side. Yeah, there's the double iron bash. We take that very well. Dang, I need to get a Mel Metal. It's just a, it's such a good Pokemon in this. Um, what does my opponent have a, a switch to a Thunderbolt? Um, probably Snorlax. I think I'll just go for a Thunderbolt. And then I can Roost. We're going to do some decent damage. Ice Punch now. Ouch. Alright, so unfortunately we have to get, we have to sack something off of this thing. I was hoping to do more damage, but... Yeah, we'll just take that. Let's get Charizard in here now. We're going Mega Evolve. So that way Charizard's not, you know, put so much on a timer. Once we switch in and out. Um, anything that would come in on a Flare Blitz. Mega Charizard X. Um, 
want to roost so bad, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid that my opponent will predict the roost. Well, honestly, if my opponent... Yeah, I gotta go roost. Need to get some health back. Out comes the Snorlax. Yeah, so even after I Mega Evolve, I'm going to take damage, like bad damage from Earthquake. So I need to roost here so I can actually switch back in later on. I mean, this Snorlax is going to be a problem for me. Let's go ahead and get the health back up. Nice. Um, do I have something to bring in on this boy? I think really my best option is to switch in Ride on now. And then try to get my own rocks. I think that is my best option. Alright, it's going to go for a Toxic. So it's trying to put my um, Charizard on a timer there. Luckily we got Rhydon in, and Rhydon has one job really, Stealth Rocks. I need rocks on my opponent's side. That is like honestly the main thing that Rhydon's here for. Um, yeah, see, I, I don't know what Snorlax does in this. I know what it does in Ultra Sun, but I don't know what it does in Let's Go. It kind of bites that we lost Zapdos, but honestly, um, I had to sack something off. That thing, um, the Mel Metal is just so powerful. All right, Dragonite. All right, so my opponent is predicting the rocks. Um, we're going to get those rocks up right now. So, what do I want to do? I don't have... Honestly, I don't have anything that wants to switch in on an Outrage. That's the problem of not having a good still type on my team. Um, but I can't... I feel like Rock Slide was is better than Rock Throw, but... I don't even have that on my Pokemon, so we'll just go Rock Throw. We're going to see Starmie come out. Right on is honestly my noob mon. Uh, let's Thunder Punch. Right on has done its job. Don't let Rhydon go down. Um, and then I can bring in Muck again. Hopefully we don't get burned. Like, Muck getting burned, it's such a common thing when I do these battles. It really is. So, yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen now. Let's go ahead and get that crunch off. A lot of people actually run Mega Drain on Muck as a good option to get health back. Uh, we're going to get hit with a Thunder Wave. Hopefully we don't get fully paralyzed, but you know, with my luck. Oh, my luck! My luck! Um, it's better than getting burnt, but honestly... You know, with my luck, I'm going to be fully paralyzed every turn. And I bet Mel Metal is going to make a another appearance. No, Dragonite's coming back out. Hopefully, I don't get fully paralyzed. Jeez, twice in a row, man. Twice in a row. Okay, I need this Ice Punch. Agility, I need this Ice Punch. Please, game. Please. If there's one thing that I want, it is this Ice Punch. Please, game. Yes! Yes! Get rid of that Dragonite. You think you're going to sweep me? No! You're not sweeping anything today. Alright, I will take that Dragonite right there. Oh my gosh. Muck picked one of the most tense times to actually move. But yeah, here comes the Melmetal. Um, I need to keep Muck alive, because Muck's so good against so many things. Um... Hmm. 
could go into my own Dragonite. Let me look at the rest of my my opponent's team. Um, still has that Starmie. He still has the Gengar. What? What is? I've taken down the Aerodactyl and Dragonite as of right now. So I think I'll actually go into my own Dragonite. Of course. I can't do anything about double iron bash, but maybe we can get in here on a possible earthquake. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Um, what has my opponent got as they switch into this? Honestly, I feel like my opponent's best mon against my Dragonite is the Smell Metal. Um, so I'm going to Waterfall here. Maybe get some flinches? No. No flinch. Um, yeah, we'll just let Dragonite go down, really. Um, the unfortunate thing is, you know, this Mel Metal does so much to us. And I need a way to get Charizard in here safely. The good thing about having Charizard Mega Evolve now is um, we're not going to take any... It'll take half damage from bringing it in, but, you know, Starmie and Gengar... We need to have Muck for those two really bad. Um, I think I'll go ahead and click Flare Blitz. Um, Starmie is honestly the best switch to a Flare Blitz. But maybe from this range, Melmetal's got good defense. But I think we should take it out. Nice. All right. We will take that. Probably going to see the Gengar, maybe. Oh, well, the Starmie, okay. Starmie, Starmie, Starmie. Um, Scald is neutral to us. Should we take a Scald? Man, if I switch back in, Charizard's going to take a lot of damage. And I kind of need Charizard for Snorlax. Yeah, I need Charizard for Snorlax, really. Um, but then Venusaur would be good against Snorlax, too, because I could put... Um, yeah, I could put... Um, oh, it's going to... Okay, so it's going to Thunder Wave me, I'm pretty sure. So, my plan is to switch into Muck on this thing. I think we're going to see a Thunder Wave. And I really need Charizard not to be paralyzed. So we'll get Muck in here. Good thing is we're not going to get burnt. We take that. Uh, we need this crunch to break through. We need to get through this paralysis. Snorlax is coming in. Okay. Oh, come on, break through the crunch. Crunch. Thank you. All right. The unfortunate thing is Muck. At this point, Muck can't really do much. So I think I'm going to crunch again. Because Muck, honestly, it's like so weakened it can't do much. So we're just going to let Muck go down. And I think I'll bring Venusaur out. Maybe just go into Charizard here. Should I go Charizard? But Charizard, I could roost. I think I'll go Charizard, try to get a roost. So I can take some damage. But I really need a roost right now. This thing probably has Earthquake, but I'm thinking I should take an Earthquake. Oh, self-destruct! Oh my gosh! That thing packs self-destruct, guys. Well. Now the question is... 
can Venusaur take on Starmie and Mega Gengar? Is that possible? I think for that to be possible, I'm going to have to put something to sleep. Here comes the Starmie. The only way I win is if I put this thing to sleep. Psychic's going to hurt, like, really bad. That's why I need to put this to sleep. Thank you. Okay. I don't think we take on the Mega Gengar. Just Mega Drain, because there's no point in leech seeding this thing, because we're going to take it down with this Mega Drain anyway. There's really no point in putting it to sleep, then. Yeah, I don't think we're living a hit from that Gengar. I mean, I can't do any super effective damage to it anyway, but my... Honestly, Gengar destroys me no matter what. Like, it's... What, what do I need, need to keep alive to play? I think Muck was really my best option against this thing. That was my only option. And when I let Muck go down, that was basically game. Uh, so, good game. That was actually a really good game. Um, it's actually hard to find, like, really good let's go battle. Um, you know, let's go battles. Because a lot of people are bringing Pokemon that um, I feel like they shouldn't even be allowed to bring into this... this um, environment like Mega Mewtwo like that's just so overpowered and when you have one of these battles that are like actual you know let's go OU battle um, they are just so much better than just battling someone who doesn't understand the mechanics and the meta um, so if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe and I